I wonder whether or not you would want me to share this phone number with you, or at least to Google it and find out a little bit more about the person who sent this in. James, you're fooling yourself. I, I point out, because it's almost a reflex for me, that your is spelt wrong. A young, sexy schoolgirl won't have any effect on your feelings. I'm, I'm fooling myself if a young, sexy schoolgirl won't have any effect on your feelings. It says, daft as turning away your eyes like a Muslim, teaching young girls how to turn on men, um, has been here since time began. Do you maintain that you can control what turns you on? Deep down you can't, that's just the way it is, says Alan. Should we Google that phone number, make sure he's not linked to a, a school or, I don't know, a rugby club in somewhere? I mean, that, 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 that's it. That bloke could be sitting next to your daughter on a bus today. James, you're fooling yourself if a young, sexy school, if you think a young, sexy school girl won't have any effect on your feelings. You all right with that? Not only with that, but with the fact that that's, you know, oh, I'm, I know what I'm going to I'm going to text LBC with my defense of being turned on by underage girls in school uniforms. Funnily enough, Alan, and I know we're living in a world where the best way to deal with your own self-loathing is to pretend that everybody else suffers from the same problems. Funnily enough, Alan, no. <laughs> and anyway, the conversation isn't about what arouses your pathetic little manhood. The conversation is about what men do to the young, sexy, silk school. Oh, I wish you could ban people from listening to the program. It'd be great. If, if, can we get onto Ofcom? It'd be great. You could do block like you do on Twitter. My life would be immeasurably enriched.